All right, what's going on, everyone? Uh, I hope my fellow engineers are thriving at their roles. Uh, if not, uh, I I bear bad news. So let's talk about it. All right. So uh, recently, you've noticed that the software engineering job market has not gotten any better. Uh, if anything, it, it it has went even worse. Uh, I read somewhere that over 30% of the new undergrads are not getting any jobs. No junior levels, no internships. Even though they have uh, internships uh, during university, when they graduate, they're not getting any jobs. And on top of that, <sighs> like a lot of people are swapping fields and they're swapping fields, fields to say triple E. And then I saw a video where uh, a bunch of, uh, like, uh, like a department of Triple E, uh, the, a batch graduated, and not a single one of those Triple E students had a job lined up. And so you might ask why. So my insight on why Triple E students are not getting jobs, I'm not sure why. Uh, I, I, like, I don't know how much AI can do Triple E's job but I can tell you how much AI can do a junior software engineer's job. So here's the thing. If you are a junior software engineer with one year of experience or a fresh graduate with no, no years of experience, unfortunately, it's bad news. <laughs> yeah. Um, so most of you already know that uh, I work as a, a software engineer. Uh, recently, I got promoted to like... Uh, lead software engineer so i lead a team now and uh, i had to lay lay off two of our developers and both of them were juniors one of them was intern who was supposed to get his uh full time we uh the principal manager uh, already told him that he was gonna get a bonus like, like, like a full-time offer but they had to redact that uh, it wasn't a written or anything. It was just a verbal uh, assurance, like, "Hey, don't worry about it. Uh, you're gonna get it." But uh, both of them had to go. The intern and the uh, and the junior engineer we had. And the question is why, and and the and the problem is us. Us developers who has uh, risen up. Or like have been in the industry for a bit and again i'm not i have not been in the industry for that long i have like uh four years of experience and the so what's what's happening was that the the tax uh, the tax that the junior software engineer and the intern used to do uh we uppers like upper classmen if i might say uh not even that like we just uh all of the things that they used to do uh, where it would take them like a day or two. Now we can do them in like less than a day with uh, AI, the help of AI, vibe coding, if you might say. Now, if you if you're familiar with my videos, you know I've been very against vibe coding. Um, but if I have if you have to use vibe coding for work, not for learning, then it's a really good tool and you should use it to up your productivity. If you're not using it, you're falling behind and you'll probably get laid off. So use it. Use vibe coding to your best of knowledge. But also make sure when you're working with like uh, security protocols and stuff like that, don't use vibe coding. Don't paste your uh, APIs <laughs> uh, or secret keys into vibe coding. That is that that is not safe, and don't do that. Uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, the, the reason behind is because uh, the senior developers or like the mid-level developers who like we still have jobs, but like we are doing the junior developers work in way less time than they would take so yeah that's why uh, the juniors or the entry levels are not getting hired anywhere and uh, and that's the bad news so the question is what is the solution um, there isn't a lot really um, what you can do to your best is like try your best and that's all i can honestly tell you to do you know like make sure you're filling every quota before you apply to a job make sure you have a portfolio make sure your resume is, isn't more than one page uh, make sure you don't write a fucking essay 
on your resume telling about talking about yourself and please stop using chat gpt to write your resumes write it your head with your hands uh the recruiters they know when a resume is written by ai and uh they will reject it right away so yeah um so yeah recently microsoft laid off uh, 9000 employees and a lot of and a lot of them were game developers but hey i feel like game developers have been getting laid off for a long time <laughs> before even the rise of ai it's, it's, it's just been a thing i mean like in 2025 if you're learning to be a game developer please just stop <laughs> just stop stop doing it please it's not going anywhere <laughs> yeah and uh Yes, so my advice to the junior developers is uh, if you have option to keep trying, it might take you a year, but remember all it takes is just one one offer. Just one offer and you have to prove yourself in that one offer. If you do get a job, if you land, if you land an, even an internship or a contract, do your best, like finish, finish your task like way before the deadline even arrives and make yourself irreplaceable. So yeah. Um, it is a little bit of a sad video um, because uh, for starters I had to lay off two of our developers and they were really good uh, but it's just you know budget cuts and save more money for the company so that's something that you have to abide by unfortunately it's not really it wasn't really in my hands <sighs> it's, it's also sad because I worked with these developers for a long time not for a long time but for a while i taught them yeah i taught them the abcs of production deployments devops unfortunately we had to let them go so yeah like so the job market for entry level and junior engineers are getting worse day by day um and even just you know even just work in general in canada like we had five what 4.9 percent unemployment not really a long time ago and now it's seven percent unemployment across the board so yeah and the, and like computer science graduates are like the top of the list of not getting a job i've been in your situation i've been in those positions uh, i was able to crawl out of it but it took me a whole damn year to crawl out of that not everybody can afford it so um, if coding your, is your passion and there's nothing else you would rather do for a career, then uh, what I would suggest is, to, is just do freelancing, open your own firm, uh, provide SaaS just to get by until you get a job. Or even if you open your own company, like make, uh, make sure you incorporate or do a sales proprietorship through, can through Canada's uh, CRA account. I'm not sure how it works on the United States, but it's pretty simple in Canada. So that way you actually have a, a named company, even though it's yourself, you can be a developer at your own company and like provide services. Um, that way you're actually gaining some experience. Even if you get one single, single client, that's experience, that's actual work you can put on your resume. So yeah, there's a lot of ways to get experience, even not, not directly from other employers. Um, provide your services, your development experience, so reach out to big companies, hey, your website, your website looks like absolute dog shit, uh, I, I can make it better. Provide them some sample of your work. Um, that is in, this is in the case that you don't want to uh, re-roll into another uh, degree and, and coding is your passion because that's what I did. It's exactly what I did. When I couldn't find a job, I literally opened my own a company under my own name, even though it wasn't really in my resume. Um, but I had a few clients, some realtors that I was making websites for, and they paid me good money. Trust me, realtors, uh, they're, they're rich. Uh, so yeah, uh, provide your services to the rich, to the millionaires, and uh, you know, just get by. You know, If this is something you can't stop doing, then keep doing it. It doesn't matter if you have a job or not. I have a job now, but I'm always in some side projects. I'm in one, I'm, I'm in a very big side project right now that I'm doing after I come home from work. I mean, look at my eyes, man, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm literally dead. Yeah. Um, so, and it's only about 9, 14 p.m. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's my advice. And um, stop going to Reddit. Stop going to CS carriers questions and all that stuff. It's only going to make you depressed. Learning about the market being bad is not going to help you. It's not keep the spirits up 
and uh, if you feel like you're not really that passionate about coding I will 100% tell you right now to go get a diploma in something else don't like don't get a master's degree that's not gonna change your situation oh I got a master's degree oh okay I'm some I'm, I'm a big guy and no, I know you're not it doesn't matter you have a master's degree with zero experience like there's people a lot of people out there actually most people with master's degree with zero experience in computer science is not having a job people are like because the employers be like oh this guy's a master's degree that's great but zero experience whoopsies I'd, I'd rather hire somebody with no degree and experience so yeah and don't like uh don't do that <laughs> don't do that so yeah um get some experience one way or the other do some open source projects uh, i have a video about resume and like open source projects tutorials in my uh, youtube channel uh, go through those uh, see if it can help you and uh, yeah comment down below if you need any help and yeah with that being said thank you for coming to my ted talk and i i'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but most of you already knew it so yeah uh, until next time cheers and good luck everyone i love you all